Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three relatively new Google Docs features that you might have missed. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my sample Google document. And the first feature that we want to look at is how do we break up this page? It deals with how to break up this page. So you can see here I have two sets of questions. And you know, one way that you could break up this page is to go to the insert menu and put in a horizontal line. And now you've broken the page that way. But I want to make sure that this second set of questions always appears on a second page in my document. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the insert menu and I'm going to now use the break function. And instead of doing the old continuous section break, I'm gonna do section break next page. And now it's created a second page for me. And I don't have to worry about hitting the return key and manually spacing these out. I just did that by using that little insert break and using the section break next page. Now, another feature of Google Docs that was added this fall that's really quite helpful is the ability to add a watermark to your doc. To add our watermark, we're going to go to the insert menu and we're going to select watermark and let's select an image. We can use a Google Drive file. We can go into our Google Photos. We can do a Google image search, or we can upload from the computer. In this case, I'm going to upload a document from my computer. And I'm going to use this image as my watermark. And this is now my watermark. And we can see I have it scaled automatically. I can say 50%. I can even go up here and make it 500%. It would be huge. Let's just do that 100%. And I have it faded because if I didn't have it faded, we would not be able to read the text at all. Now we can scale that down even further. So you may notice it's important to try to use a watermark that doesn't have a busy background and, and isn't too dark in order to make this work really well. Now, the last feature is an update to the citation tools. So let's take a look at how that works. So let's go up to our tools menu and citations, and we're going to add a citation source. I have this one here. I'm going to remove that one. Let's delete that one. I'm going to add in a new citation here. And we can choose our style, MLA, APA, or Chicago. And we're going to add our citation source. The update that Google's made this fall is when you choose your source type and choose your access type, let's say print, so book and print, you can now search with an ISBN and that will fill in all the information that you need. So I'm going to fill in the information for this book here, That Wild Country by Mark Kenyon. It's a good book about the national park system. And let's go ahead and search for that. And we'll see it's now pulled up that information, the title, publisher, the year it was published, and the author. Hit continue, and we can fill in the rest of the information as needed and add that citation source. And we can say, cite it here and insert works cited and now it's put it right there into our document now i can delete that and delete that as well i'm gonna give you a demo of citing a website so let's delete that one let's say we're going to add a citation for a website so let's add citation source and this time we're going to use a website and we're going to cite this article, search by URL, fill that in. We'll see the contributors are missing. So let's continue on the next page, fill in the contributors and add our citation source. And again, we can cite that. And let's go down to the bottom of our document 
and insert works cited. And so now we have our works cited down here at the bottom of the document, where again, we might use the insert break and we'll say section break next page to make sure that that's on another page and not at the bottom of one of the other pages. So those are three features of Google Documents that have been updated this year that you might have missed. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.